lots of winding corners. A little bit of drifting. Oh my god. What is going on, everybody? It's Boy Slap Train. Welcome back today, guys. Project Car is back again on the channel, man. It's been a little bit since we've been back, and the last time that we actually visited this game was for Mad Mike's MX-5. Now, we, you know, we threw that thing around, had a little bit of fun, but we never looked at the rest of the cars in the Stance Works track expansion. So that's what we're going to be doing today, and starting us off with the BMW 1 Series M Coupe Stance Works Edition. Now, this thing looks absolutely vicious with the aero package that they have equipped this with. Obviously, a little bit more horsepower from the standard model, bumped it up to 460 horsepower on that straight six. Front engine, rear wheel drive. Ladies and gentlemen, this should be one hell of a drive with this BMW, man. So that's what we're going to be driving for today, paired up with the Azure Coast westbound in France. So we have quite a bit of road. We're just going to kind of, you know, get a nice little feel for the car, drive it around, and then potentially maybe bring this into a single player race or even online if I do see anything around. Now, ladies and gentlemen, of course, if you'd like to see more project cars on the channel, all you need to do is slap that like button. Total of 95 turns at this westbound course here. Quite a bit, man. Quite a bit. But, you know, at the same time, though, I really have been enjoying Project Cars. As long as you can, you know, find a right balance in the tuning, don't have too much force feedback, you really can have a great drive. But it's really down to the point where you need to find those tunes. And I wish that Project Cars had, you know, something where you can download other people's tunes. I think that would change the game completely and bring in more drivers to the game that can, you know, just have more of a pick-up-and-play style. But that's just me, though, man. Alright, here she is. Look at her. Oh, my God. Sounds ridiculous, though. We're going to see if I can get maybe a little donut off the line. I don't know if that's going to be possible or not, but let's try it. Shit! Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, shit. Now, we do have our driving line on. Something that I did not really want to have on, but I guess we're running it for this first run. Don't usually run, though. You know, I feel like it's a little bit of a cheat. Uh, you know, you kind of get to see what's coming up before it even hits you. Oh! All right, let's see how we do on this one here, man. We got it this time. Going for a clean lap, ladies and gentlemen. I know what you're thinking right now. Slap, clean lap. Come on now. Stop joking. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. So let's see how we do here. Yeah, I just want to drive this clean if possible. Maybe get a little bit of oversteer as we do so. Ooh. Those hills, though, man. Those hills with the damn elevation changes will get you. Playing this safe in fourth gear. I know, man. Here we go. Let's run it a little bit. There we go. You can see that front end just hooking right back up for us, thankfully. Definitely going to be a crazy drive here. Game is very tough, but once you master it, though, the game can be something of epic proportion, man. I mean, I have seen people on here really drift properly. Now, I haven't seen too many people do it in, you know, Mad Mike's MX-5, mind you, but, you know, we have seen some really good drifters hit this game, and, you know, once you really master the tuning, and, you know, master, you know, what you need to do on your end, you can have a pretty damn good little drift session here. Not the best, mind you, but maybe not. Yep, don't go. See so how we're running this first-person life. Not a big fan of it, though. Looks scary as shit, man. Look at this. Let's go. Jeez. 360. We're good, we're good. I meant to do that, man. I meant to do that. I'm just kidding. I didn't mean to. Now, once we hit this view, though, we lose our map, which is shit. That's... Oh, wait, never mind. It's on the top left. I couldn't see it. Sun glare. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Here we go. Let's see if we get some height on this. Oh, shit. We did. We did. Okay. A little downhill section right here. Oh, jeez, that's a wall tap, baby? I'm just kidding, man. I always see those comments like, Slab, man, you think everything's a wall tap. Well, 
Usually not, but if I can, I will. You know, when you say wall top, it takes the blame off of you and onto the wall, right? I'm, I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Oh, I don't know how I did not scrape my mirror on that. We're just cruising it to this, man. We're just cruising it. I don't need to get crazy on this corner. Damn. Grabbing it back is probably one of the toughest things to do because it just wants to go the other way and I don't want to break the wheel. And that's how much force feedback this game really throws at you where, you know, you feel like you're going to break your own wheel because you have so much of it. Man. It's, it's, a, it's a tough damn setup to get used to. But obviously, uh, you know, the main mechanic of this isn't to go sideways, right? So it is, it is a very strenuous game when you are throwing this thing sideways on your own setup. I wanted to make that. I'm getting the hell out of it. Ooh, the roof view. This, this has got to be my favorite view. GT6 started it. Project Cars has perfected it. Oh, sorry. Here we go. Oh, gee, look at the thing. Oh, okay. Okay. Are you okay, Wheel? I don't know. Wheel doesn't look too good right now. Somebody help it, man. Please, just stop. You know what I didn't do, actually, was my differential. I should have done that. They're just pouring smoke. Force feedback feels pretty damn good. I can move it with ease. I don't have it, you know, fighting me too much. Let's see how this goes. Oh yeah, baby. He's down to third. I mean, this game will make you a seriously good driver. Same with, you know, Gran Turismo. The, the actual physics on this game, you know, they are pretty dead on. But, you know, once you get it into a real situation and, you know, you start trying to do things that you normally wouldn't do, that's when you run into trouble. And I can actually honestly say that my force feedback feels pretty damn solid right now as I hit the wall. But, you know, it feels good. And it feels like, you know, it would kind of... Oh! Look at that. Now, I know I hit the wall on that. I understand that, but... I almost saved her, man. I almost saved her. I, I would have felt absolutely incredible if I didn't hit the wall, but that's okay. But I'm just telling you, though, I mean, like I said, I feel like this game needs some type of tuning, you know, platform where you can share your own creations, because that's when you're going to get a lot of competition on here and a lot of people... Oh! See? I oversteered too much, man. I let the wheel go. You can't let the wheel go in this game. You really can't, because once you do... You screw the entire thing up. You gotta hold on to the wheel for dear life. And don't let go of it and pray that, that front end and rear end will just hook back up for you. Like right there, man. We got it. I got you! Don't worry. But that's always been my, you know, I would say biggest problem with this game is that there's so many tuning options on here where you can't really just get on and say, okay, I'm gonna make a tune, you know really quickly. I don't think there's a really quick tune on this game that you can really do. And I mean, maybe there's a set tune? Holy shit, we just saved that. Almost drifted that! No, no, no! Sorry. I was clean though, man. I'm actually really enjoying this car right now on this track. Lots of winding corners. A little bit of drifting. Oh my god. Just like that, the game will consume you, man. Now, we also received the KTM Expo R. Now, this is the little damn thing here. Little uh, straight four, mid-engine, rear-wheel drive, 300 horsepower, mind you, on a 1,700 horsepower platform. So, um, you know, the power-to-weight ratio is definitely there. This thing is going to haul some ass. I would like to take this to the ring, I think. Force feedback. Oh, my God. That would have broke my arms. I would have had no arms, man. We're going down to eight on this shit. Here we go. We have paddles. I oh, no, no, it's stick shift. It's stick shift, baby. 
Here we go. Why is this still on the track? I don't need these arrows, man. Come on. I think I should have changed them before I went into here, but it's okay. Third gear seems pretty short. We're going to be in a higher gear, I think, for the majority of this race. Or this test drive, really. Feels good, though. Always respect the project car's physics. You know, sometimes I may not like them, but I always respect them. And I feel that's something that, you know, if you are in the racing genre, you need to respect the project car physics. You know, a lot of people may, you know, give it a lot of flack. But once you are playing it on a, you know, on a proper system, and mind you, this is only console, so I feel like the gameplay is going to be enhanced on PC 110%, but, uh, you know, as long as you are playing it, I would say properly, and, you know, not trying to go sideways like you're on fours or anything like that, um, you know, the game will treat you very, very well, and, you know, it got a lot of flop. Obviously, you know, the car list isn't as dominant as I, you know, I would say personally would have liked, um, but it is definitely a good, you know, I would say car to track list. And it definitely kind of separates itself from the rest of the racing games. I wonder what the helmet cam looks like, though, on this shit. Oh, wow, that's scary. Okay. Woo, this is nice. Okay. So this is what it would look like if you were driving the KTM crossbow, I guess, right? I mean, this is cool. And we got the damn turning in to the corner with our view. That is one of the best features for this view type, guaranteed. Gives you a perfect angle on the corner. What you need to do to correct to, you know, make it through the apex. And just overall, very clean though, man. I like this. Forza should have a camera like this where it turns into the actual corner, man. Here we go. We're just pushing it as hard as we can do it. I just really wish these damn lines weren't on because I'm not even looking at them. And I know a lot of people are right now slap, man. You really need lines on the north slap? Oh, hell no, man. You know how long I've been driving this track? It's ridiculous. Here we go. Beat the shit out of that second gear, though. I'm sorry. I didn't really mean to do that. The car is fantastic, though. We held her. No lift on that corner, man. That would have been treacherous if we did. Oh! Dig it! And we're going to drive our last car for today, and that is the 2002 Stance Works Edition 1973 BMW. Straight four on this, rear wheel drive, front engine. This thing looks fantastic, man. I love the oversized fenders from, you know, front to rear on here. Just looks very clean. 275 horsepower on that. We got a very nice fitment. Some beautiful looking rims as well. If we can see them again. Car's hiding on us now, or what? Okay. I was like, what the hell, man? Rims look clean, though, man. Look at the dish on that. The dish is nice. I will tell you that right now. We're going to go ahead, take this thing for a spin, and uh, hopefully do some damage with it, man. That's that's the plan, at least. I don't know how well this is going to go with 24 damn people, but we're going to see, man. We are in a full race for today. I figured, you know, we already did the test drive on there. We, you know, we kind of have a good idea. Hopefully, my driving line is not already on. Um, I don't know what's happening with that, but I cannot turn it off. So, I'm hoping that it will go away at some point in time, but I, it's just, it's not there, man. I, 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 I'm at a loss for words. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the pack. Oh my goodness. This thing looks fantastic. Would have liked to see maybe a rear wing on this thing or something, man. This looks, looks a little bit plain at the back, you know? I don't know. Think about getting a different view on this, though. Oh, this is clean. This is clean. I like this. This guy's got a rusted paint job on that? What? I didn't know that was even possible on project cars. Give this a shot. Driving line's still there, unfortunately. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we're just gonna keep it going. I couldn't save it, man. There's nothing I could do on that. Hey, look at it, full lock, and it's still just going. Why? Oh my God. That's frustrating, man. That's the biggest thing that I don't like about this. And that's where, you know, the tuning comes back into play. It's using somebody else's tune that maybe can fix my oversteer problem. What is that? Oh, my God. Okay. For everybody that's saying, you know what, Slap, just drive it properly. Um, while I was trying to, let me just try it again and let's see 
if this can go any better because that was that was tough man my wheel won't even move look at this what are you doing what are you sir look at this guy okay jesus now let's get a different view on this one here excuse me gentlemen got places to pee right now now this is considered I believe the head cam, but it looks fantastic. It almost looks like it is um, part of the cockpit cam. So this is actually probably my favorite view for this car right now. Oh shit. We're good, we're good. Can't be giving it a lot of gas on this, man. Sorry. Okay, in that corner at 73. Got the old Mustang in front of us. Oh, the computer! That is a rogue computer right there, man. That damn AI just took us both out almost. Okay. This game is tough as shit sometimes, man. I'm telling you. I'm gonna keep it in third. I feel like I'm having, you know, good damn luck in third. Car's not spinning too much. Drop it a second, watch it just lose it right away. We're keeping up with them at least. No, 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 no. Oh man, I hate that. Oh shit. Oh! We're good. We're not good. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for Project Cars for today, man. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this stance work track pack look. Um, I don't know what's the matter with this car, but. Once this rear end comes out, though, it is almost impossible to save the damn thing. And it is, it is so tough. I don't know why. Like, look at... Gee, come on. Oh, come on, man. Look at... Okay. Like, I'm not even telling it to go... And, uh, I'm at a loss for words, ladies and gentlemen. I'm at a loss for words. This shit is frustrating sometimes. Obviously, project cars, man. You gotta... You gotta respect it and take it nice and slow. But um, I feel like I should be able to at least, you know, save it if it does come out. It's going to be nice and easy on the throttle, I guess. I don't know, man. Leave me your thoughts down below. You guys can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of which are found in the description box down below. Project Cars, back again on the channel. To put a slap chain. I'm out. Oh, shit. Peace.